Huh, it's a good start to the morning. Car wouldn't start. So it's a very nice gentleman is helping us to jump start it. Battery's completely flat. Oh well. Now now we're leaving. Mm. He's saying broom, two nights is too much. Oh. Oh well. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. I'm sure Blue would have something to say about that anyway. We are heading to Broome. But it'll be interesting to see where this guy is because he's not the only one that said this actually. A lot of people said Broome is just a tourist rip off spot. Mm. Mm. So we've arrived in Broome and we've come to the place where we hire the camper from. So they have an office in Perth, Broome, and Darwin. And they've changed the battery for us after it went in, checked the alternator, given us clean bed sheets, towels, and they oh, and changed our extension lead because it wasn't reaching the power points on campsites. And um, yeah, we're just waiting now to, they're going to refill our gas tank for us, and then we'll be off. We're going to go and see the at uh, dinosaur tracks. It's really hot here. Blimey, Nora. We won't see them because the tide needs to be low. But still, how's that for a view? Hey. Oh well. Let's still, look at the formations on the rocks. It's very pretty, isn't it? So we might not see dinosaur tracks, but they were here. This structure is very cool. Uh, good morning. So uh, I'm going to do brew, the two days in Broom as one video because we didn't really do a lot yesterday. Uh, by the time we got in and we messed around getting the van sorted. Oh gosh, it's hot here, I tell you. Anyway, we're at the caravan park. It's very busy here. Look. I like sardines. I mean, it's not ideal. You know, I like to have my space, but we're in broom, so that's what it is. Showers are fine. Did the laundry, desperately trying to get everything dry before the road. So I'm just getting myself together. I've got my sunscreen on, covered my arms, sunscreen on my bare bit of legs. I mean, you have to cover because it's so hot and I don't want to burn, and then you're sweating. But anyhow, so there is like a tourist bus here, and um, as we can't move the van, Unless we pack it all up, which we really don't want to do because we need to get the wash and dry. I'm going to get that bus from outside the caravan park and into town so I can go and have a look around Broom. And uh, I'll take you with me. My brother is having a day of rest. <laughs> He's exhausted. So I'm hoping to look around Broom to today and then this evening go to the Cable Beach, which is a minute walk from here, and watch the camels go past up the sunset. Now let's see how we get on. Whew. It's nine o'clock in the morning, it's already 27 degrees, but oh, it feels hotter than that, I'm telling you. I can't stop sweating, I've had so many showers there. Um, so, I'm at the Broom Explorer bus station, stop 20, which is just outside Cable Beach Caravan Park. And it's $5 one way, or $15 for a day and you just get on and off what you want. Now, I'm going to head to the main park town, to Chinatown, Courthouse, and um, the old Sunset Museum, and want to see the Pearl Luggers. And then I'm going to see how I feel, because I would like to go to the museum and see Town Beach, but I've got a very busy day tomorrow, very, very early start. I want to go and see the camels 
tonight. So I need to see how I feel by then because it's, it's seriously hot and I don't want to overdo it so I don't enjoy it tomorrow. So we'll see how we get on, but um, yeah, so far Broom's nice. It's just stinking hot, it's really hot. And this is winter. I couldn't live here in the Broom in summer. So my, my brother, I mean a little bit, right, so he's a little bit concerned about the Gibber River Road because if it's this hot, and actually it's gonna be this hot now for the next few weeks. But like I said to him, we have to get up early and go and do the walks and then just chill in the afternoon. It's really strange here because like, when I go to Union, it's sort of really hot between and after three, you can go back out again. Here, it's like it's hot all the time, but then after about one, two p.m., it's just, it doesn't cool down. And last night was so hot, it was so hot to sleep. Oh, the joys. But this is what I want to do. And just think, two weeks ago, we were moaning about the rain. <laughs> British, aren't we? Always complaining about the weather. That's what we do. It's our favourite pastime. So forgive us. So we've arrived at the house, which is a market area they have at the weekends in the morning. And there were all sorts on sale here. We've got clothing, food. Locally made leather goods. Oh, that might be the hat that blue is looking for. So it's kind of like local crafts and... That'd be cool, wouldn't it, see those? I'll tell you what I would like is one of those towel dresses that they were wearing on the whale watching boat. Look, lots of closed doors. Blankets. Oh, you can get a massage. Everything, really. Yeah. You can get yourself a drink. Cold drinks, teas, coffees. And I'm going to assume this is the old courthouse building. That's why they came at the courthouse. Oh, my music up there. So that was that is the broom courtyard. Look at all these old buildings. They've got an old charm to them, aren't they? I mean, they're not old, but they've got a charm to them. And this is the area of Chinatown. Broom Chinese community. Shops on the other side too. And here. And here we are at Sun Pictures. Oldest outdoor 
cinema. So we've got historical tours and tickets, but it's shut at the moment. Celebrating over a hundred years of movie magic. It's been here since 1916. It's still original. And you can still watch movies here. And today, it's Despicable Me 4. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. I love Despicable Me. But it's at 6.15. And I'm going to go and watch The Camels. Oh, I would have loved to have come here. Oh, I just can't do everything, can you? I don't know if I understand that riddle or not. Let me know if you do. So this is Streeter's Jetty. A little bit of history about it. There we go, at the start of every purling season, the workers would invite the families for the Luga picnic. We would sail out from Streeter's jetty and have races. My father would dive for the, from the mast and others would show their skills. After the picnic on the Luga, we got invited to the Japanese camp for a feast. It was a fabulous time. Let's have a look down this jetty now. There we are on the street as Jetty. It says it's prone to flooding, but I don't think that's the risk today. There's a ladder down. And there you go. Off to sea. You've got all your pearl shops down here. <laughs> this is where to come if you want your pals. There's still pearling boats there. It's closed. I don't know if I'm allowed up here. Look at these, the old pearling buggers. Pretty cool. Oh, I've just got the bus, took it to Town Beach. They run every half hour, but this one was 25 minutes late, so it was 45 minutes sitting in the sweltering bus stop. There's a shop over there I can get water now. I'm trying to see if I can find the museum. Ah, that's over there, so I'm going to get some water and then I'm going to go to the museum. Could not resist an ice cream, so what? Right. First, I better eat this before I go to the museum. Oh. Um, excuse me. Oh. Uh, it's 
going to look at Town Beach while I'm eating this, which is just over here. This is the beach area. Oh. Just need to be wary of stingers and crocodiles, but lovely blue sea though, isn't it? Oh. I thought there was a caravan park right there. That's quite cool, the festival area. Very cool. So I'm in the Broom Museum and this section's about the pearling industry. So I've just uh, been in the museum, so the Broom Museum, and it was uh, very interesting actually. Very good section on the history of pearling in Broom. I found it really interesting how uh, the Aborigines were kind of forced to be the divers. Then another section on World War II. Communications, life in room. and a, a section on dinosaurs because, of course, there are dinosaur prints here, they've been found, so they know dinosaurs roamed the area. It's a nice exhibition on what they found and what they think it was like. So, here we are on Cable Beach. Um, so a lot of people are just watching from over there, but I don't think the camels come that far. Um, and the sunrise is over there, and I believe, according to reception, that the camels go where the cars are. But the cars are leaving. I can see the camels. But I might have missed them. Oh, blooming! Are they getting off? Oh, they're getting off the camels. So maybe I missed that bit. There you go, there's the, the broom camels. And 
cars park there and cams go along the sea at sunset. But I think I missed it. I didn't realise. I didn't realise how far it was to walk from the hotel. It was a good half hour. Anyway, I'm going to go back up the hill and watch the sunset from up there. I'm not sure I want to get stuck on the beach in the dark. But, look, the restaurant over there is absolutely packed. People are everywhere just to watch this. It's a pretty nice way to end my last day in Broome. Last day, make it sound like I've been here forever. Only been here when I arrived yesterday, leaving tomorrow. And I'm going to go up the hill and see if we can get a good view of the sunset from there. It's goodbye from Broome. And we'll see you tomorrow on the horizontal falls before we make our way onto the gib. <clears throat> Just over 4,200 kilometres done so far. Still an awful long way to go. Till tomorrow. Ciao.